Well, I came to go to bed and poor little Dave has been sick everywhere. So I've cleaned it up in the hall, I've cleaned it up in the garden and now he's just feeling very sorry for himself. All right, baby? Poor David. So my early night yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Minky Moo. Why is your face all wet? <laughs> oh, shattered. Wow. What a night. Poor Dave, poor mummy. I was up with him all night. I don't know what, I don't know what he's eating. I've got puppy pads from his little bed all the way through onto the landing. Where he's been sick. I'm gonna have to get the vac spot wash out through the carpet. Oh. Poor little boy. So no treats or anything for Dave today. And I am so unbelievably tired. Oh my god. Oh. Right, I've got to sort this out a little bit before work. I don't want to scare any dogs. <laughs> Hello, sweetheart. Dave. Dave, darling. Dave. Dave. You okay? You okay, sweetheart? You look a bit better. Look all these puppy pads in my bed. I had to put throws on the bed because he was sick on the bed. We had to change the bed, didn't we? And then I put these down so that if you were sick again, I didn't have to change all the bed. Mm. Oh, goodness me. Right, there's going to be no slips, trips, falls today. Mm. Mm. Happy Monday. Where he was sick, I've sprayed all of this on it. Well, scrubbed it, sprayed all that on it, and then I'm gonna have to get the spot wash on it tonight. But while we nip to work, I'm gonna leave these out in case he decides he needs to be sick again. Bless his little puppy chops. Uh, I washed my hair last night, I'm not gonna do anything with it. I'm just going to pop it back in a ponytail, I think. A couple of plaques because I'm too exhausted to do anything else. Right, drip your long stock in. He's given herself a talking to and my lack of sleep with poor baby Dave is nothing compared to what Susan and other people are going through. So I've played with a big white husky wolf, an Akita, um and a what else was it? Like a collie cross and I've cheered myself up. 
So I'm now going to my next client. There's loads of doggies walking past now. No, uh, now going to my next client who's got a big American bully who is so cute. I'm not sure he'll be out with it being bank holiday. Um, not, a, not a lot of people are up and about yet. They're all having days off and lie, lions. With me and Ash being self-employed, we work bank holidays, much to Ash's dismay. I like to keep busy and like to get out. Plus, we don't get paid if we don't work. So, if you're self-employed, do you work bank holidays or is it just me? But don't tell Ash if you don't. Hey look, it's me and Ash. Me and Ash in the caravan. Well, I nipped into Tesco for a toilet break. I stocked up on some Coke Zero. I got some Baker's Meaty Meals. These, I keep a few in my pocket when I'm working. Just for the doggies, it's cheaper for me to buy a great big bag of those than it is treats. But we always ask if our clients are allowed them before they get them. I've got some concentrated screen, screen wash. Screen wash, because my light's been coming on for the past three weeks. And some chicken twists. The only place that does them now that they're any good is Tesco. Unfortunately, they're £8.50 a packet. But our dogs love the chicken off them. They don't eat the middle bit. But they love to pull the chicken off because they're so little. Right, back to work. Are you so excited to see me? Oh my gosh, I love you so much. 
careful you get tangled in that I love you really <laughs> crawling up my legs you never stop like a little Tasmanian devil I heard you from my client's garden and I knew you were waiting for me to come round to give you a cuddle <laughs> good boy he's such a good boy Ash has just rung and reminded me that we needed all rabbit bedding and sawdust and everything else <sighs> I'm so exhausted today so I'm going to go into B&M before I go in just look at these beautiful lilies £8.50 oh my goodness they're stunning you couldn't even get a bouquet for that Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, they've got all the Christmas things in. We've only got the small shavings in. Taking my time as the sun it shines on me and everyone that has come to find. This world is cruel. It's is treasures. <laughs> Jump up then. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> oh, I missed you all. Hello. Oh, I nearly dropped my phone. Hello, sweetheart. Hello, Rosie Roo. Hello. <laughs> I'm coming in. <laughs> yeah. Well, today's been full of loads of bits and bobs and Jibbity jobs. I now need to go to a post office. I've got a load of mum and Kev's mail and that needs to be posted off and I never did get round to sending the old stamps back that I have. So I'm wondering if they can actually do it in the post office and swap them for the new ones. I have a feeling, I don't know, they might not be able to do it. But I'm gonna try my luck. And then I'm gonna go home and clean my carpets and see if my little boy's okay. Being sick yesterday, bless his heart. I do hate it when they're poorly and they can't tell you just can't tell you what's wrong. I mean, I know what's wrong, he's sick, but... Oh, little David Winkle Chops. Just spoke to Suze. If she, if she messages me, I tend to give her a ring back. If it's like not, not a normal message to normal. Because um, we always say, I, I love you so much. And then she just put, I love you. So I thought, oh, I'll ring her, just make sure everything's okay. And she said, it, it is, it's just, um, let me pull over a minute. It's just the, um, she's, she sort of has hot flushes um, and gets really the bed needs changing and everything like that after she's had like a hot flush so I said to her I think the the oncology team she doesn't really see anybody anymore you know when you at this stage there's nothing that anyone can do so she, there's no hospital appointments there's no she gets a phone call every three weeks I think from her oncologist and that's about it 
um, but I said, you know, I said, please just have a word with him about some sort of hormone replacement therapy. And Sue's explained to me that the the C word can cause these hot flushes anyway. So she doesn't know whether it is like menopause issues or it's the cancer that's causing it. But I said she needs to talk to them, have it out with them you know what are the symptoms of taking the HRT to maybe stop these hot flushes so it's at least the little sleep that she does get she can relax and not have a wake up in a wet bed relax more than she can you know what I mean so I think she's going to have the conversation with them because it can't hurt it can't hurt it but if it takes away that one symptom that's annoying and frustrating and upsetting and doesn't give her any other symptoms that override that then I think it can only be a good thing to try and make her a bit more comfortable so hopefully she'll have that conversation soon so yeah I'm going to post this letter to mum and Kev and then I'm going to go home and clean up sent the letter £1.60 Oh, one pound sixty for just a little letter, and apparently you need to go on the uh, Royal Mail. Why can't I speak today? The Royal Mail website to get an envelope to send my old stamps back and get them replaced with new ones. So I'm going to do that as well when I get in. Hello, how are you feeling? Oh, you look skinny. Oh, my honey. Mm, don't kiss me when you've been spewing. Don't kiss me when you've been spewing up all over the shop. Oh. <laughs> Come with you, give me a cuddle. Oh, dear boy. <coughs> Minky, no, I'm going to come to you in a minute. Okay. Oh dear boy. Oh dear boy. I worried about you all day today. I did. <laughs> I worried about you all of the daytime. Oh, sweetheart. Here's a cuddle. You do love your mum so much. So much. I'm glad you're feeling better. Should go and wash the carpet. <laughs> I'm coming to give you a cuddle. Cheeky, cheeky, peeky pops. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, see you later. <laughs> I seem to have unwittingly worked in a helper. Thanks. Hello. So, yeah, even though we washed our beautiful carpet every time we were sick, there's like little spots of where we were sick. I mean, this grey carpet's not great with the brown wood. It, the, the lighting makes it look dirty anyway, but it isn't. So, we're going to use our amazing Vax spot wash that Sue's bought us. Was that last year? Earlier this year. Earlier this year, bless her. That's the present. So, yeah, let's see if this gets it up. <laughs> Wow, that looks so good.
That looks way better already, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. That's the mucky water in there. Ew. Right, crack on, Baba. You do the rest of it. <laughs> they do the whole house as well, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Oh, so the vac spot wash definitely works because that is just what has come out of our carpet. Ew. So Ash has done the whole landing. Thank goodness. And you wouldn't even think so because the, the carpet's really clean anyway. And it just shows, isn't it? Yep. From me and this little treasure, I'd like to say thank you for watching, everybody. He's tired out. So is Mummy. Yeah, thank you for watching. And some super thanks to give to Jen. Jen Rowland, thank you so much. Oh, and the bunny clock was from Jen. Which it... I'm okay. <laughs> which did actually make me laugh. I didn't even realise until I edited the video back that I got a parcel through that said it was a naughty, a naughty rabbit. And it was only like about an hour ago that I twigged that that sounds really dodgy, but it's actually a little bunny alarm clock. <laughs> and it actually plays um, sleep sounds for you to go to sleep to as well. So thank you so much. That's really cute. And thank you for the chats um, as well, Jen. So love you all lots. I'm going to get my bag packed. Well, who am I kidding? I'll probably do it in the morning. Bag packed to go to Susie tomorrow for a couple of days. Excuse me, and get her sushi um, and other bits and bobs, and just go and look after us and watch telly like we like we usually do. So, again, apologies if there is no video tomorrow. But if I feel like I need to pick up the camera and speak to you guys, I will. Because you help me so much. So thank you. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.